is on a problem like this, we have 9a squared b cubed divided by 27a to the fourth b to the fourth c. So the main thing we want to do, ladies and gentlemen, is just break this up and see how we can simplify this. So we have, really what we can do is we can break this up as to 9 over 27 times a squared over a to the fourth times b cubed over b to the fourth times 1 over c. And the reason why I broke this up is because I want you to remember how we can apply the properties of exponents. First of all, we can't do anything with 9 over 27, but we can reduce that, right? Just like you reduce 1 4, or just like you can reduce 2 over 8 as 1 fourth, how can we reduce 9 over 27? What divides evenly both into 9 and 27? 3. 3, 1 third, right? So you can say that can be reduced down to 1 third. And then what happens when you divide exponents? You're going to subtract the powers. Gave it to you. a squared minus 4. And then for b, we have to do the same thing. And we'll just leave 1 over c. So now we have 1 third a negative squared. Let's keep these all in the numerator. So now I have 1 third a negative squared times b to the negative first times 1 over c. Well, remember, ladies and gentlemen, whenever we have a negative exponent, you have to put it in the other part. So if it's in the numerator with a negative exponent, you rewrite it in the denominator. If it's in the denominator with a negative exponent, you rewrite it in the numerator. So to continue this problem over here, I have 1 third times 1 over a squared times 1 over b squared, or b to the first, times 1 over c. And now I can just rewrite them as all 1 over 3a squared b. That would be your final answer. C. There you go. Cool? All right. All right, but I'm not going to spend too much time because I got something.